No, nah, it's just, I don't know, they just take me as who I am as a person. I, mean, I was a young kid at 19, they embraced me here. Now I'm 26, going on 27, I still get the same treatment. So it's a pleasure, and also my dad was born and raised, so that's a big risk. Why did you come out right now? Why was there just plenty of deal with Trump? Why what was the time? Oh, it was done with my agency and my management team that couldn't join the bus agent talking. And uh, when they came with me to propose it, we knew they were gonna want to answer by the next day. I they agreed to everything that he wanted in the contract. So I just surprised people with a good Friday night. So I know some people probably went out and had some drinks after. <laughs> John, did you notice any irony sort of in that same day that after a few hours Kyrie says yeah, that was crazy to me. I didn't know that was happening at all. And then it was like, what? So <laughs> um, One thing I always say is, I mean, it's kind of tough in the situation because I've been three straight fighters. I'm like, I would want to stay, but you never know what type of relationship or whatever detail they have going on on the backside. And nobody knows behind closed doors. Um, and also, he's one of those guys that he wants to be the main guy. Well, and it kind of is a difficult situation when you play with a guy like LeBron James that's so dominant. Everybody wants to go, always going to be the second guy to him. And if you want to have that, it's kind of like I tell a lot of young guys when they first come into the league. Uh, it's kind of tough to get a lot of young guys to play together and play as one forward because everybody's trying to build their name, start their own foundation. And, uh, it's kind of tough when you're always a shadow to somebody else. And that's something I think probably got tired of. Yeah, at the third, yeah, in the third quarter, it was like three minutes ago, I asked Coach for a sub. He was like, no, you got to play. I was like, oh, shit. It's going to be a long night for me. Is that why you're doing like the World Tour World Cup basketball? You're going to fight these people? Like, boxing? Just doing a lot of stuff. Like, I, in the morning, I'll start treatment and I'll be weightlifting. Uh, then I do basketball. And after that, I go ride a bike for like 20 miles just so I can like ride and, and try to see how it feels when I'm fatigued and try to get over the hump. Try not to answer questions and let, everybody, let them do their job and they came back with a plan and tell me what the uh, absence was and I agreed to it. What does it say about, about this team that you've got yourself, Otto and Bradley signed long term and what do you think you three can do because you now do have that long term experience? Well, I think every everybody, each one of us all got better. Uh, the ultimate goal is to see how, how much better we can get to improve our team. Um, and hopefully all the other guys are working just as hard as we are to try to get better. Uh, we have a main core in our first five that we know how well we're going to play together. Um, we just got to find a way to get our mission and get those guys playing on the right path and find the chemistry throughout those guys. I think we do that really far. How nice is it to have a, a summer where you're not rehabbing or working towards conditioning? Right. Oh, it's the best. It's the first time in my whole career I had to not worry about doing no rehab or, or injury or anything. So I like you've been seeing a lot of videos and me just working out a whole lot because this is what I want to do. I love to do it, but it was kind of tough in the past when I do so much rehab. around the East now, Boston, Boston, Hayward. I mean, what's your view of the top of the conference with you guys and what's going on? Uh, I think it's the same as last year. You got Celtics, still, you have Toronto as one of those teams. You have us and you have um, Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah, for sure, that team. So. Uh, it's just those four teams. I think you got other teams that's getting better. Milwaukee got a chance to even get better if they want to. Uh, Sixers have a chance to improve because they got a lot of pieces and those guys stay healthy. Um, a lot of teams are making different trades, different things happening. We have an awesome goal to try to get one and two. We got three, so we just got to keep it moving. We're going to see Chris Paul go to Houston and everything else. It's going to be kind of going on with aligning a lot of good dudes in one place. What do you think about that? And do you think that's good for the league? Does that concern you? It don't concern me. I mean, I think it's, then you know how the, the whole league is totally changed. Like, with the, with the pace of the game is going down with stretch fours and stretch fives. Uh, a lot of guys teaming up, what you wouldn't see in the past. But, um, sometimes the grass is not always green on the other side, so you never know. Now, do you see loyalty in basically one of the reasons why you chose this state? And you mentioned about the D.C. Is there something specific about the D.C. area that has embraced you so much? You know, if you could have waited another year, if you made the All-NBA team, it would have added another year. Just kind of how did you bet doing this now versus maybe well, earning a little one, more This later? is only my first time to make All-NBA, so it's not guaranteed. It's not like I think you got like maybe five to seven guys that might make it every year, you know, so you don't 
kind of want to take that chance and risk of not making it and losing out. And I was like, why not just go ahead and get it done? Hey, now, also, it's all it's assumed that guys your age going into their third contract nowadays are going to at least test free agency. You've decided not to test free agency twice now. Just what are your motivations there beyond loyalty? There's a city that's been loyal to me uh, since day one. Uh, they drafted me. They're, they're doing things to try to make this team better and keep getting us better every year. I'm working as much as I can to develop myself as a player and as a person. Um, I love being here. I love staying here. It's close to home for me. Uh, there's no point in testing for agency if I know where I want to be. Uh, so I just go ahead and make my decision and get the job over with. Were you ever tempted? Have you ever come close to? Uh, it depends. I mean, after this contract, you see what where things are going, what's happening. But I, I have ultimately go what I want to do here. I know what team I want to play for from my whole career. I mean, yeah, yeah. You never know if that all can happen. Trades can happen, things like that. Uh, but if that happens, I wanted to be on my own decision, not because of the trade. Where's it say? Oh, well, just my age. I just sit, like, sit back and let my age and my age is going to work out of that. Uh, you need the money is going to be there. You just want to make sure that they negotiate the right way. And I sit back and try not to answer questions and let, everybody, let them do their job. And they came back with a plan and tell me what the uh, options was. And I agreed to it. What does it say about, about this team that you've got yourself, Otto, and Bradley signed long term? And what do you think you three can do? Because you now do have that long term Well, I think every everybody, each one of us, all got better. Uh, ultimate goal is to see how how much better we can get to improve our team. Um, and hopefully, all the other guys are working just as hard as we are to try to get better. Uh, we have a main core in our first five that we know how well we're going to play together. Um, we got to find a way to get our mission and get those guys playing on the right path.